Hey guys, um, today we're gonna be showing this tower I've been making. Um, this is a collab. Um, so basically, um, I made floors one and two. Um, I'm not, I'm not done with it. It's for Jato. I made floors one and two, the last floor. Um, I'm going to make the second to last, no, the third to last floor. Um, and, um, this is a collab with Octomo Gaming and the Golden Skillet and, um, Maximius, and then I don't remember their full username. Um, so, <laughs> Octomo Gaming made, um, uh, three and four, the Golden Skillet made five and six, and Maximius is making, um, seven, and then I'm planning on making, um, eight, and then, um, Floor 9 was made by Optima Gaming, and then I'm making Floor 10. Anyways, um, let's start out with Floor 1. Um, uh, I was trying to make sure this is a good gameplay because it's for JTO, but I also wanted to have some creative usages of clients since it's for JTO. So we have like this morpher thing right here. And then we have this um, elevator trampoline thing. There's also a kill brick puddle down there. I just think it looks cool. And then we have these right... Oh, okay. Um, yeah, it is a little bit tricky. I don't know why I just wanted the no clip, but... Yeah, it is a little bit tricky, so... Um, I'm not done making uh, this part. Anyways, um, we have um, this right here. Yep, epic. Um, and then we have like a wrap right here and then we uh, do that. I think my favorite floor is probably the orange floor, floor two. It just has, in my opinion, decent gameplay. Um, and then we have these like, um, Uh, moving platform things and then we have like this um, weird like conveyor water stream I don't know and then this is like um <laughs> I put a stupid joke it's kind of uh, stupid but um there's basically like a turret and um, I welded it to an invisible um, uh, tilting platform so if you go right here, you probably will die. So that's why you have to move it like that. And then uh, there's kill bricks right there. Oh yeah, this part right here is somewhat confusing. So something is off, duh. Use your eye, you get it right. For this, um, I have like this weird platform that allows you to see through some parts. Um, and you have to like, um, I don't know how to explain it, but I'm gonna infer that you get it. And if you don't, then ripperoni but um yeah okay so how do i feel that we have um a cool cannon elevator thing right there another um usage of moving platforms another cannon elevator and then these parts are slippery um so yeah Also, there is totally not a cut right there, so just, um, just believe me on that. There totally was not a cut. Yep, definitely not. Um, then, oh yeah, um, I'm also going to have to add a skip barrier right here because people can literally just skip that, so I'm gonna have to do that. Um, we got some, um, conveyors because epic! Honestly, I'm not a huge conveyor fan. Conveyors are probably some of my least favorite clients, but it's fine. Also, yes, I will also make the frame of this can collide false, but, um, for now I'm just a little bit lazy, so. Yeah, um. 
I don't like this speed part right here. It just the gameplay is kind of choppy for that. I don't know if choppy is a good way of um of describing it, but yeah. Um this part is a little weird. Um And then for this part, for that jump, I guess just do it how I do it because um, I think that's the most consistent way of doing it, depending on how you game, but um, whatever. Um, and then this floor has some cool kill bricks, cool kill brick um, welds, I guess. So um, that's cool. Um, these um, these um, are wobbly platforms. So, uh, yeah. And then we got a head hitter right here. I used to call a head hitters jump blockers when I was new to Jato. Just jump blockers. Also, how do I fail that badly? That doesn't make any sense. Well, I did it, so it does, but whatever. Um, now we have this floor, and honestly, this part should be changed because. I don't like this specific jump right here. It's see that's that's just why I don't like it, but that specific one should be changed. Um I also think this jump is too far. Um and then um we have a trampoline thing right there. Then we have some trust gameplay. For this jump I recommend doing it like that because I feel as though that is the most consistent way of doing it. Also, this floor is not done. And this floor is made by Maximius, who didn't really do much. And then, now we have this floor. I just clipped the ground. Okay. Well, um, we have this floor right here. Also, this client, <laughs> it was messed up. This is a pretty annoying, um, uh, jump right here. It's just kind of annoying but whatever and then we have a stick out right here um okay i think i might make this this jump not nearly as hard to get to because it's just annoying because the timing is kind of tight but um i really do like this part this is probably my favorite part of the floor those jumps right there they're pretty cool also i don't know if you understand but um the grass is basically just similar to the Tower of Heck gradient. It's just, yeah, I don't. Well, it's not the exact same because the last floor. Um, never mind. Um, it's similar. It's just it's similar, I guess, but it's not identical. Then, um, oh yeah, um, This is a teleporter. Um, that part is not very clear, so there should probably be arrows there. This jump is a little tight, um, but overall you should be able to do it. Just go a little early. For some reason, I just assume that I'm not going to make the jump, and I go in the no clip. But then I actually do make the jump, and it's just awkward silence. But whatever. And then we have one of these jumps. Why can't I even do it, dude? Come on, bro. Why can't I do this stupid jump? And then just go like that. I also should probably um, add alignment keys to this game because that would probably be better. I have a feeling you can somehow do this, like, terrifying jump and just skip that right there, but I don't know. Um, I'm going to change this specific jump because it's kind of uncreative and looks bad. Um, um, oh, I can't even do that. Now we have this outside section frame wraparound. Actually, it's a wraparound stick out, but... You have some stick outs on a Kilbrick tightrope. Don't even ask how long it took me to convert tightrope into Kilbrick. Wait, no. Um, we have, uh, 
these cool jumps that I kind of like. And then we have another cannon right here. This used to have a more advanced client, but it broke all the clients, so I had to remove it. Um, for this part, you just kind of tilt it like that. And then we have um, a zip line right here. We have some more outside section jumps. Imagine not being able to do the jump, dude, dude, imagine not being able to do this jump right here. That took way longer than it needed to. Oh my gosh, I am so bad at this. Okay, and then we can go like this. Uh, be careful not to corner clip your- Be careful not to corner clip right there, just do it like this so you don't risk corner clipping. Um... And uh, that's all we got so far. Um, thanks for watching.